guys. Here's a quick little video about something I just came across recently. Now, an organization I've been working with has been doing some research around safety behaviors. Now, a real trend in psychology has recently has been, you know, how do you set up an environment to make people do new behaviors? So it's not about trying to engage them in that new behavior or, or win over their beliefs or attitude. It's just kind of how do you set up the environment so they can't do the old behavior but can do the new one really easily. Now, I think this is a good idea and I was so proactive, but something made me question this a little bit. And this organization was doing some research around safety. And what they showed is that that is a high compliance, high fear environment. So it's like, if you don't stick to this procedure, you'll get in trouble. If you don't tick that box, if you don't do your paperwork, you're gonna get in trouble. Now, what that does is just makes it People don't even have to think about safety. It's just like, I have to do this or I get in trouble. But what this organization has shown is that sort of attitude where we don't engage your heart and mind about safety makes you focus on the procedure, but not on being safe. So do you get what I mean? What, what people are focusing on is do I do the compliance, not am I safe? because I'll get my butt kicked if I don't fill out this form. So they focus on filling out the form. They don't think about the behaviors they're doing in the environment. So what their research showed is that high sort of rules and compliance makes people step away from autonomous safety behaviors. So they said, let's flip it on its head. And what they did in their organization is empowered more of the teams on the ground. So one they said to them, uh, like, you know this job better than anyone. What do you think would be safe for you? What would you change? So they actually interview them. Rather than someone who doesn't do the job go, stick to this or you're in trouble, they interviewed them and said, how would you be safe? You know this job better than anyone. Now, the second thing they did is they got their leaders to have different conversations. And this is fascinating. So rather, when the leaders often went out on site and talked about safety, they're like, have you filled out the form? Have you done this? Have you followed this procedure? They got the leaders to go out and go, okay, I'm looking, up, looking at what you've set up here. Uh, what was your thinking behind this? What was your strategy to do that? Why have you put that in that location? And then the person will go, well, we do this because of And what they showed is that when they still had the compliance there, but that wasn't the focus. That was part of the process, but the bigger focus was, are you being safe? Are you thinking about safety? Why are you doing this way? And what they showed is that with that approach, autonomous safety behaviors dramatically rose. So rather than just being focused on the compliance, they started to focus on, are we being safe? And, and this is a key thing is that, yes, we want procedures to make things easier for people and to, to keep them accountable, but also, are we getting our people to think Focus on the outcome. You know, whether, even customer service or, or being customer centric, do we just go follow this procedure? But are we thinking about teaching them how to think about clients individually and tailoring stuff to them and, and thinking about the outcome of is the client delighted, not I followed the procedure so I won't get in trouble. Anyway, I found this fascinating and, and I think for any organization or any leader, this is a key thing to think about. Where are we applying the focus?